What have you make of the week, oh, of the week so far, Ed? Obviously, uh, look, you've been it's, away. It's yeah. old wounds coming back up. Look, uh, uh, it's just really sad. And I'm not going to make any comment about anything on, on one way or the other. But he, he's other sad than, for the club, but he's sad I'm for sad Haritia. For yeah. Sad for everybody. You know, you've got to remember... You know, I, I was very close with Haridia and have not spoken to him in any other terms other than pure love and affection over the journey. That means nothing at the moment. That's not a criticism or anything. It's just the way I feel. And I just hope that... Um, I hope the door is still a little bit ajar at some stage for Haridia to come back. I think uh, the welcome mat is out still. And But it's, it's, his, it's his prerogative and it is. It's just really, really sad. When is the last time you tried... You uh, tried to Matt, speak to him. I'm just not going to okay. get into it. You know, there's there's nothing to be said anymore on this. The only thing I want to see going forward is if, at some stage, there is some some way we can make things come together in some way. That's it. I've got nothing else to say. There's been too much said. Uh, I think, Lordy and Ross, journalistically, from my perspective, the recordings is a really interesting. Um, question or it raises interesting questions mm. because um, as we know here in the state of Victoria and I deal with this every day with work you can't record someone without their knowledge and then publicize it and publish it I mean it's actually punishable by jail now I'm not saying that's going to happen here with Heritia my understanding speaking to people today close to the situation is that neither Nathan Buckley nor the Collingwood Football Club are going to press any charges but it's, it's definitely created or it's added an element of toxicity that I'm not sure a lot of people we're ready for. Do you think that's a fair comment, Eddie? I know you, you, you can't say as much as oh, you Look, I to, can say. I'm just not going to say. Yeah. Well, it's clearly elevated the situation. But I think in some ways it, it brings it to a head. Mm. It's really... I'm not well, sure if it does, though, Ross, because... No, if oh, it continues, because Nathan has called it out, played in its full context. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that's the right thing to do or not, but he's put in the public forum, well, put it out there. If you, you What you've got and you firmly believe it, we'll put it up and, and we'll deal with it. So I'm not sure that's going to be great for anyone. Um, so from my point of view, and it, because we're footy people, I'm not a legal, but I can't talk whether it's legal or not. I'm sure someone could step in here and run the argument that if it's in the public interest and whatever, you can run it. But we're not here to debate the legal. It's just, it's very hurtful. It's very, and fundamentally, there's... Heritier, Nathan, Eddie, great football people caught up in something and people are getting injured. And from the outside, you'd like to see a solution and we move on and we come together. Yeah, the moving on is an interesting part. I, I think um, Harita actually said today um, at an in interview with the ABC that, that that will be the closing chapter of it. This is Joel Wilkinson, who, who's been brought up in this um, as well and wasn't happy with um, Mark Robinson, the chief football writer of the Herald Sun, and also Jared Waitley for um, AFL 360 on Fox Footy not playing the audio of the recordings um, that was last night. And this is Harita today with the ABC. It really is a closing of the chapter for us. So, Eddie, I know there's um, not much that you want to say tonight, but from my perspective, having followed this story, since Michael Warner broke the story about the, the Do Better report, which is a great news story, a great get, we know what's happened with Collingwood. We know what's happened with you. That The club has gone to great lengths to try to heal some of those wounds and, and, and fix mm. what they called systemic problems mm. at the time. It now seems that the, the story or the intentions have moved on from that. We're now talking about whether Heritia left the club by his own accord or, in his own words, was driven out by Nathan Buckley. Wow. I think there are, there are two very different versions of events that... Um, perhaps don't talk talk to the elements of racism that were initially involved of the story as greatly. Look, I think the club are doing great things now. Um, the Do Better report was commissioned by me yep. and our board. Um, you know, it got leaked, but it was going to be presented. The only reason it wasn't presented because there were factual errors in there that we wanted to have it right so that nobody could come back at it. So there was no hiding it or anything else like that. You know, the club leant, leant into this, and largely because we wanted to find out what was going on and, you know, was there any veracity, what, uh, whether it was completely right from Heredia or partly right or whatever. We actually leant into this mm. in a big way. And, OK, Heredia's come out and said, and, and the end he said that that's it as far as he's concerned, that that's his prerogative. But, uh, you know, from do, here... Do you think it is the end? Oh, I'm not guessing. I, I don't know. I haven't spoken to Heredia for probably five or six years. Um, but my point is this. The club is doing great things. We have put in place everything that experts have asked. Jeff Brown's board now 
has gone out and got experts from RMIT and everywhere else to drive this. These are not part of the club. They're, they've been brought in to do things. The Collingwood Football Club, I'd argue, has now got the st systems right. That's the systemic part. Well, it wasn't that we were doing anything different than anybody else. We just didn't have them like no one else. And, you know, you look at media organisations. I don't think anyone here's got uh, the systems in place. Is, for is these types of things. So I think the now the club is... I, 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 or the individual I, 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 more, I'm not going think? to guess. Yeah. What and, do you I, think? and I don't want to say anything in case it's misinterpreted either. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but but the, key, yeah. the key is, though, you know, I think Collingwood now has really moved forward of, it, of everyone and people who are down there at the club are, are, are serious about it and always have been. And if there are mistakes along the way, people are happy to... This, this, this is the thing, I suppose, is this. No-one's ever been at war with this. No-one's been trying to prove that they're not this or not that. It, it, people, we want the place to be a happy place. You know, and as I said, I would love nothing more than if Heredia was able to come back sometime so that we can all look back on the 2010 Premiership, the years of fun that everybody had together, the great times, the highlights, and if that's something there... That doesn't sound like his perspective, though, that well, he didn't have but that the, But yep. maybe you do. I've seen a lot of people in football clubs who have been embittered for whatever reason, right or wrong, and then down the track go, you know what, there's a big part of my life's been missed here. I think that uh, if he really was to turn up, he might think that there are people who want to hate him. There's not. There's no winners, there's no winners out no. of this, as no. you just touched on. No, it's not, so, uh, it's, it's, it's hurt scene. absolutely everywhere.